Hello, fellow creatives. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. So today, I, I thought I would try something a little bit different when it comes to uh, my videos. This is not a tutorial. If you're looking for the tutorial, click on the card in the top right, and that'll take you right to it. Instead, this is something more for my community of fellow creators. Uh, so if you're in that community, congratulations. If you're not, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and then the little bell notification icon next to it to join the community. And uh, we will uh, we will go into it. So this video is is about going into my creative process for the uh, desert house tutorial that you saw uh, a, a couple days ago. The one that uh, this is eventually going to become. I haven't actually built it yet when I'm recording it. This video is just coming out after uh, I've released the tutorial. So I actually don't know how this is going to um, turn out. Uh, you guys already know, but I don't. So it, it's kind of interesting. Um, but I have been having a couple different frustrations with this thing. Let, let me kind of fly a bit down to it and we'll, we'll take a look. Um, basically, what I've been trying to do is research for some keywords and try to put together a little bit of a, a cohesive sort of video strategy. So you've seen it in a couple videos over the last couple weeks where I have gone around to different locations in the Ragnarok Desert area here and uh, shown them off and given ideas for what we could build. Well, this, this is one of those ideas uh, that I'm working on right now. Um, and it's meant to be kind of the third in the series. And what YouTube does is it, it tends to promote videos that um, go in little bit, little small mini series type things like this. Um, assuming the first video and it does really well, which is, which is what actually happened. And so I've been doing a little bit of a keyword research on what exactly I could build that's kind of desert themed. And I've been running into some roadblocks. Um, and so I'm really frustrated I, I, about that. Um, basically, uh, everything desert is pretty popular right now when it comes to ARC. But you know what? I don't really care. Um, I'm just going to do this, this tutorial and, and this video for you guys. Um, and we're going to have a lot of fun with it. It's going to be uh, great, hopefully, even if it doesn't show up in search. Uh, that, that's fine. So... Um, that's that's what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you my creative process about how I'm building this. So I have already started. You'll note I've already started with um, uh, Adobe Foundations and, and uh, ceilings and stuff. And it's basically just to really kind of get an idea of, of how to lay this out. And I thought this was, would maybe be the theme I want to go with for this kind of modern house. But I'm oops, I forgot that one up there didn't stay. Uh, so anyways, uh, I think I'll probably replace these eventually, but right now what we're going to do um, is um, I'm looking at this area over here, uh, right over there, and I'm seeing how it's kind of taller than this area, and I'm thinking this area might need a little bit of a boost um, as far as um, kind of adding some symmetry to the build so all the uh, the height is not on one end, and so I thought, well, this is a modern kind of house that we're going for, right? So what if I uh, try adding a dino garage, right? So we have room for, well, I'm hoping a double, a room for a double gate, but uh, we'll see here. Um, I need to get some fence foundations. Let me get those. I, I totally forgot about those. I'm just going to stick them right here, and we're, we're just going to see what we can stick uh, our uh, fence foundations to. So... I do one. Oh, it, it sticks actually down on the ground. That's different. Um, let's. I, I want it up. Why? Why is it attaching to the ground? That's weird. Maybe I. Maybe it just attaches to the height. Let's see. No, that looks a little low. Yeah, that's strange. Oh, because the fence foundations attached down here. I am a moron. Big fat moron. Uh, okay, there we go. One right there, one right there. So I guess we have to attach them like that. Okay. Much better, much better. And then put that one right there. Okay, so that's going to be kind of our, our dino stone gates, I think. And I'm just going to play around with this. I, I am just kind of curious if this will turn into like a two-card dino garage. Because that's kind of what I'm going for. That's kind of the idea here. So we'll see what happens. Um... I'm not sure I'll be able to pull it off. So I have, um, yeah, that's going to obstruct. Um, basically, this garage, the we can't do a two dino garage, unfortunately. Um, I'm One of the rules I set for this build was to do a, um, 
Actually, we might be able to if we extend it out. So what if we... Let's just try that. Let's just see what happens. Can I do that? There we go. One of the rules I have for the server... Oh, that's weird. It, it sets down weird. Disable structures, uh, that rule is turned off. So it's basically like you're building on a vanilla official ARC server. Um, so that's basically what's going on here. Um, I kind of hate to lose this uh, big area, but we can we can play around with it and just kind of see what happens there. So if we get rid of those, and uh, maybe if we put some walls in, like this, along this side, that could work, I guess. We could do that, and we can see what, how that looks. Um, but uh, yeah, that's kind of the idea, is, is we're just going to kind of try to weight this off and make this a little better. Um, so that we have kind of like a tall area here. It slopes down a little bit and then slopes back up. We have kind of the main living area over here. It's going to look really cool when it's done. But anyway, I'll check back with you in a few seconds. Uh, for you guys, uh, for me, it's got probably going to be a couple hours because I have to go back to work. Um, I'm kind of doing this snippet in the off chant in, in my lunch hour. So I'll be right back with more progress. This is a mess. I can't get it to work. I, it's just, yeah, come here, look, 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 look how janky this is. This is the driveway. It goes out on this end, but it won't go out on here past like, eh, it'll come out there, but it won't go any further because this thing is in the way. It's pretty terrible. Um, and there's no way I cannot cover this up. It's red. It's just awful. So I think we're going to have to go ahead. Just go with a single dino garage. I am, uh, I am upset with it. I will say that. Not happy. Not happy at all. But we will work through this because uh, that's kind of what we do. That's the essence of creativity, you might say. So I'm going to take this down, too. Because if we're going to have, like, a living space come out to here or something like that, then I think I want the garage to go out a little further. So that's already there. Let's go ahead. Put something like that there. Actually, look at these ramps. And can I just do this? Yes, I can. Okay, that works for me. Okay, so let's have that come out there. And can I do ramps? Okay. Oh, I can. Sort of. I have to I have to put it down a little bit, but it does work. Okay, good. So there we go. If we can do that, and then we put oh, get it. Get it to where it's. Ah, uh, come on. There, I think I got that one to fit. And, okay, there we go. And let's see if this will work. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now that we have a dino gateway, it's going to stick out a little bit, but not too bad. And, oh, I can't get up now. Crap. Uh, let's do this. Just cheat, because I can. <laughs> okay. Um, there, so now it comes out one. And uh, how do I want the garage to go? Maybe, how high does this go? Four? Yeah, it goes, it goes four high. So let's uh, let's bring it out. Let's bring it out four. Why not? There we go. And then we'll have this like little area here that maybe we could uh, expand a bit. I am not quite sure. Um, we'll have to see how it looks. I, I do kind of like not having the front face completely flat. So... Bringing this out one, I think, will work pretty well, I think. Uh, so, I'll replace this with glass later. This is just kind of a placeholder. We're, we're just kind of seeing how this looks, right? So, if we go all the way up like this, like that, and then the garage area stops, like, right there. It could even... Well, that maybe that's one too many. Because when you have a little dino like this, a dino gate like this, only one dino is going to fit in here, and I don't think there's any long ones that can really fit through here. So maybe we, uh, oops, I missed. <laughs> maybe we bring it in one. So let's, let's see how that works. Like that. So you basically have this. By the way, the, the way I'm spawning things in, I'm using an external utility called Arc Commander. If you Google it, you will be able to find it. But if we do that, and we bring it all the way over there. And that, yeah, that looks like enough. That looks like enough space. 
for like a triceratops or or a bird or something. We can put a hatch frame on top. Uh, that'll work. Actually, maybe we should do our own helipad. That'd be kind of neat. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll think about it. We'll think about it. Uh, it might be too much for the for the tutorial. Okay, so we got this kind of big area here. We've got this kind of side area here. Uh, how high should the side area go? Let's let's bring it up just three. And I just want to play with it just to kind of see how this uh, how this is gonna work here. Um, let's do that. Let's bring that down and let's put just make it a slope wall uh, and we'll do it that way. There we go. So then we have maybe another sloped wall type of thing right there and then we do a slope wall thing right there like that. So that's that's kind of the shape of it. Um, hmm. Or maybe that's a staircase that goes up to here and that's like a this will be like a hallway type of thing. I'm, I'm doing this live on camera. Kind of interesting. Kind of interesting how we're doing this for sure. Uh, but we are about 10 minutes into the episode now, so maybe I should cut and uh, do a little bit of uh, uh, just kind of playing around just to kind of see what we do. Because I think we've solved the issue with the garage. Okay, so yeah, the garage is now the tallest feature in the house, which I guess is okay. It's way over there on the corner. We bring that up, and then that's even, that's even, that's a little taller, which means maybe we want a second story on this just to make this the main part again, just to kind of weight it down a little more. So I think that's what we might, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a second story on top of this part. Um, and then this part can be kind of like the garage part. But I like how the uh, the garage is one foundation, one wall taller than uh, the living area here. And then the, it kind of both comes down here. Not sure if I like the kind of, you know, concave shape here. We might want something a little more severe on one end or a little longer, uh, just because it's a little, eh, a little funny looking. Anyway, I'm gonna go play around with this and uh, we'll be right back. So if you haven't already figured it out, this video is all about the various frustrations I get to deal with whenever I do a tutorial video for you guys. And this is, this is an interesting one. Um, it's worse on the Stegosaurus, trust me, but, uh, this is not big enough. Uh, definitely not big enough. Uh, he's, he's kind of, he's got an extra foundations length, so you can kind of fit him in, I guess, but his horns kind of stick through if you go too much farther in, uh, and his tail still sticking out. Um, so I could, uh, I could bring it into here. This was the bedroom, um. These walls were not here, uh, but oh yeah, I know, I feel ya. Uh, so we could kind of expand it to more foundations and then we would have enough room, but then, well, it kind of ruins the symmetry a little bit. Uh, come on, fly. Of, uh, why can't you fly? Of this thing, because if we go up here, it doesn't stop two foundations away like it used to. It goes all the way to the end of this thing which throws everything off. But hey, look at this. Ain't looking too bad, right? I mean, the rest of it, pretty good. I mean, the only thing I have to do, really, for the rest of this structure um, is uh, kind of decide what materials I want to use, right? Now, I could go Adobe like this. It blends in with the rock. But maybe I want something with a little more contrast. Not sure. Gonna gonna play around with it just to kind of see, but I got I got to figure out what to do with this this dino garage, because I can't if I could if wishes were horses I would I could bring it out an extra foundation I could uh but I would have to turn on the uh the the arc rule where it lets me clip into the ground because of that thing like like we've been over this before so there's that there's that issue I could maybe take um, this area off here and then just move all of this over one. That's an option too. We would lose this uh, 
the skylight, which really not that big of a deal. But then the roofs would be here. The roof levels would be so close together. It kind of, I mean, it would be within a foundation. Kind of makes you wonder, should I, uh, should I bother with that? Because I feel, I feel like uh, all of that stuff, like if, if they're going to be that close together, I might as well just get rid of this lower area. It just visually would not look as amazing as all this. So, this is this is the stuff I get to go through every week, making videos. I hope you appreciate me now. <laughs> Not that you haven't before. Uh, I'm just being sassy. Uh, so, you know what? I think for this house design, y'all are just gonna have to live with it. You're gonna have to live with the shorter dino garage and the absurd dino tail sticking out through the dino door frame. Just gonna be the way it is. So it's going to look more like that, and it's going to look a lot better uh, if I can zoom out here. Yes, weight-wise, balancing-wise, looks much better in my humble opinion. Uh, and uh, because of the offset roofs, I went with that style. We're not going to put the uh, the hatch frame up here. Instead, we could just call this a little aviary. In fact, you have a little roost area for your smaller ones. Um, or storage. Actually, storage would be good for this. Um, the little storage boxes up here, I think. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna do that. Um, and then your tails can just kind of stick out through if if you're not using birds. But we're gonna call this the bird garage instead of a dino garage. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay, I've got a template. I finally have a template here. So uh, let's do a quick run through, then we'll talk about the coloring. Um, come on, walk. There we go. So we got this nice little balcony, nice and big. Great for entertaining parties on. Go over here. We uh, went ahead, made this all uh, just kind of short, and there will be storage boxes up there. And then we've got uh, kind of stone floors and some nice walls, too textured, uh, because the interior, you don't need to texture both sides, so it works out pretty well. But I did texture both sides here because this is an exterior wall, and I want it to look the same, so we've got that. Um, as far as the color scheme goes, we're going to totally go with this uh, kind of rusty orange look for the windows. That's really going to help this build pop in the thumbnail for the tutorial, I think. So that's a good color to go by. And then we have the white just to kind of distinguish it from the hillside a bit while still kind of um, being within that kind of earth tone range. So the adobe is all going to be white. Um, the orange is going to make it noticeable and we're going to use stone pillars and foundations and ceilings for floors, uh, for the interiors, adobe ceilings for the exteriors and, uh, the wood on the adobe ceilings is all going to be painted black, which kind of comes off as this nice sort of weather worn brown. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Now, the only challenge here with this tutorial, and you guys will know this, if this happens already or not is uh, placing the foundation in just the right spot to where I get the exact kind of layout here without running into any extra encroachment errors uh, on this rock face here. I'm kind of hoping I figured out how to do that. Uh, so wish me luck. I'm going to go record the tutorial, and then we'll, uh, we'll probably come back for a little bit, maybe experiment with some uh, furnishing stuff, maybe. We'll see. Anyway. It's the next day, but I'm back and here to show you what we have finished. So, oh, that's not what I'm, oh God. That was bad. I didn't mean to do that. Shoot. Okay, it's gonna take some time to get back here. No, wait, I know what I'll do. I'll reset the game. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, haha, <laughs> reset button. Awesome, it's great. I must have, how did I do that? Did I just, oh, I walked on the planter. Okay, that's how I figured it out. All right, so yeah, I'm back. Um, so this is this is what it looks like, uh, more or less. Uh, we will go ahead, we'll fly, and we'll get a look at this full on. So I did a bunch of decorating here uh, with uh, just basically lots of stuff from Eco's mods. If you want to recreate this, download all of them and try to find this stuff because uh, I used things from pretty much almost every mod. 
but that's that's what it looks like and it looks pretty modern pretty cool um i'm not sure what the thumbnail will be we'll see um but we'll do a quick walkthrough here so this is the um the one of the patios we'll go upstairs uh to the writing room so this is uh this is just basically an office with a desk and a uh nice little steamy mug um and then if we go out here this is a secondary balcony where you can get really close to the waterfall and probably get wet uh and then i put a neat little fishy wall fountain here because you know it's the desert and this is uh just wasting water like this is a sign of wealth so hey there you go it's a wealthy mansion house it's kind of the idea um mixed in some uh, vanilla stuff too of course Did, couldn't really find a decent looking bookshelf look kind of library -y. this is the most library -y thing i could find so this is the library there's a book looks like i just finished reading something the witch and the arctic seas or something or the dutch and the arctic seas i guess i'm a history buff okay and then over here now i found a neat little use for these little side panels here what are these called uh shutters i just put them on the wall as little decorative decorations kind of a neat thing this is the living room uh, with a mounted wolf's head and a uh, couple extra sitting chairs. A little patio with uh, an extra table and chair, and apparently you can't get out that way. I should uh, maybe fix that. Oh, uh, well. Okay, and then a uh, little, uh, little plant area for things. And uh, kitchen, of course. Got to have the old kitchen. So there it is. Very nice looking, I think. And this is the dining area. Decided to put that next to the garage because that's all I had left. Speaking of the garage, just a little storage thing and then storage shelves up there. Looks pretty cool. Out here's another little balcony. Uh, just kind of the same style as the other one, but with little hanging plants, which I, I think is pretty cool. And uh, if we go into the bedroom, this is the coolest thing of all, I think. Um, this is the bedroom. This is the room that's likely to be the most coolest because it's going to be in shade most, uh, if not all of the day. Uh, so I put a little rug down so that when you get out of bed in the morning, the stone floor won't freeze your toesies off. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of a neat little thing, I, I guess. So I just went crazy, you know, decorating this thing. Um, and I, I'm really happy with how it turned out, I, I have to say. So, uh, if you enjoyed this vid, then you're in luck because it's part of a whole channel full of arc building videos and... The reason I do this is because I didn't used to think I was very creative until I tried. And then I kept trying and I got better. And so I'm making videos to inspire you to help me to be creative too. So be sure to subscribe and then become a little more creative by clicking on one of the videos on your screen. Uh, if you haven't seen the tutorial yet, it's the video on your right. All right, I'll see you next time. In the meantime, go make something awesome. Bye.